Hello, hello. Hi, Milton. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good, and you? Fine, thank you. How was your day. weekend? All right. Hey, it, it was uh, very nice. Uh, no, nothing special. Nothing special, everything good? Nothing special, but he uh, had good time, family in, in, in my house. Okay. okay. Oh, that's good. That's important. Yes, yes, it's important joining uh, the family. Is is a good is is a a, a point a, a main point is good is is okay just as I say the sentence um, the word I would say is the main purpose a uh, main purpose main main purpose yes purpose okay. purpose is propósito. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's better to say main purpose. Yes. Uh, you know, the family is uh, the fears and, and the lies and the life, the, the, the ish, the ish person. Of course, I definitely understand. I think, I think, yes, it's the most important to be with your the, family. The most important, yes, yes. It's good. Do you do you marry a teacher? Are you married? Yes. Are you yes. Married? I, I'm sorry. Are you are you married? That's okay. Yeah. Yes, I am married. I have one son, and um, I understand what you're saying because it's very important to me. My family. You have only one son. Yes, only one. Ah, okay. It's it's good. Yes, and um, it's very important to be with. And then the 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 correct is the your song is uh, wow twenty what years old? No, my son is six. Six. Yes. Six years old. Okay. He's six. Okay. He's a is is a little boy. Yes, he's very little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday we went to um, Catedral to downtown. Yes. To feed feed the birds. Feed. What does mean feed? Alimentar. Feed. Feed. Ah, okay. Yes. Feed the birds. The birds. The for example, in Spanish, palomas. Yes. 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 And hey. my son was very, very happy. So he hey, was. I, I imagine if uh, he he was very happy. Oh yes, he was very happy. I was very happy. So yes, he's a child. Is is normally uh, with a a uh, uh, a little thing is more important for 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 him yes it's true it's mm -hmm. true yes they're the most valuable yeah hey okay. sara sara how was your weekend good good evening i was Hello. incredible because i worked uh, on saturday and i then i returned to my house and i spent time with my family and I watch TV. That's it. That's a perfect week weekend for me. Yes. <laughs> Good for you. Marielos, what happened? Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What happened Hello. Saturday? On I'm Saturday? sorry, th Thursday. On Thursday, oh, okay. Um, my father is has been uh, sick, oh, okay. and he was uh, hospitalized. 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 Um, hospitalized. Okay. <laughs> hospitalized, and he 
he returned to the home oh, okay. uh, here yeah. and I visited. He's okay now, good. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, Katia, how was your Katia? How was your weekend? Did you go to Dubai, Mexico, no, Puerto Rico? I, I was a student because I I I am a student in the university, and in Saturday I have class every day, all day. Sorry. Oh yeah. And, and Sunday, I was cleaning my house and, and washing my clothes. <laughs> and what what do you study? In the Unicaes University. Unicaes. Oh, yes, where Unicaes. Where is that? Um, Universidad Católica del Salvador is in Santa Ana. Oh, okay, it's in Santa Where Ana. Marielo's work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's in Santa Ana. That's why I never heard of that. That's in Santa Ana. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Good for you. Thank you. How is the rain today? It was rain. It rained very hard today, right? Yes, but in Santa Ana, it, it was hard, but only uh, a few minutes. In San Salvador, maybe maybe 30 minutes. Okay. But it rained very hard. Yeah, I was driving and I don't like to drive when it rains. All right, good. Welcome back, Sergio. We have Marce. Thank you. Good, good evening. Good evening. All right, so let's start. So remember Thursday we did... Um, we pretty much did a, we, we did a complete, um, we did simple past, simple present, present perfect, and present perfect progressive, correct? Yes, no, do you remember? Maybe, I don't remember. Yes, teacher. Yes, the next week, uh, Sorry, the, um, uh, yeah, the next week I studied the present, the old present, simple present, present perfect and perfect present continue. Next week? No, the after week, <laughs> sorry. Last week? I sorry, I had a problem in that moment with my daughter. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, last week, yes. All right, hello, Miguel. Welcome. Hello, teacher. I'm fine, and you? Miguel, you look different today. It's different because I don't know. Oh, sorry, teacher. Did you have a I mustache or a beard? Ah, oh, yes, the mustache. Yes, teacher. Yes, you shaved. I had mustache. You ah. shaved. Yes. Yeah, yes. I was I was thinking <laughs> you, you look different. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me see. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so today we're going to do It's in the News. It's in the news. What's in what is hot right now in the news in the in the Salvador? The stormies. The storm. The storm is a hot news right now. Uh, um, the fed food. The uh, fed food, food with the uh, government in this. Yes, I yeah. don't understand what's happening, but that is hot in this moment. That is hot. All right. So that's that's an expression. So let's do right now in the news. Let me see if you.
Do you watch news on TV? Do you read the newspaper? The following words will help you speak a little bit better when talking about news. How would you define each of these news events? Epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Discuss the questions, ask follow-up questions and add extra information. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? In class, let's talk about a relevant news you watched or heard today. Okay, maybe maybe we don't watch the news, maybe we do, but if you have Facebook, eventually you watch the news. Because people don't, people, well, few people now read the newspaper, correct? People now read more Twitter or virtual. Yes. I have been watching uh, the news in uh, the news in many countries uh, experimented uh, food shortage or, or uh, uh, a lot, uh, how do you say, demand? Demanding? Demanding of, of food. Because I don't, I I don't offer in oferta. Uh, how do you say it's oferta, teacher? Offers. Offers. Okay. Uh, no, I don't offer for food. Yes, money. you know, I, I was reading that in the United States, there is such shortage of formula for babies. Oh. Yes, the the it's Probably. very expensive. I have a friend in New York, and the food, the meat, is very very expensive in the United States in this moment. Everywhere in the world. And um, um, what do you say is heat wave in Europa? Uh, Europe. Heat wave. Oh, the, Ola de calor. Heat wave. Heat wave. Yes. Heat wave. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it way in Europa, in Europe, Europe, just because it's a problem and is with how do you say incendios is fires, fires, fires in, in Europa. Do you know what causes fire? Causes. Causes causa. Causa. Ah, causes is is heat wave is is uh is uh wind is wind and heat wave is a problem because in the the, the food is 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 non non very very a lot food is with in incendio with fire is is a problem because it's it's cows okay yes what about you marielos what have you read on the news today recently what is hot okay i i saw the the news uh that miguel said um about in spain and uh, the forestal Forest that is correct. Yes. Fires, um, because the about because the the, the what the calor I don't know. The heat. Um, ola de calor I don't know. Heat wave. Heat wave. Okay. Heat wave. Uh, because the heat wave. Um, but do you know why the fires start? The majority of the fires. Do you know why? In the the fires uh, start in in the bull the bullet 
In the what? In the woods, uh, the bosques. Yes, in the woods, yes. But do you know why? I think because the the sun is is too hot in in this uh, weather. Yes, because the sun is hot and there are people, very stupid people, that they go to the oh. woods and they drink bottles. And oh. they throw the bottles in the in the in the floor. Okay. So when the sun hits the bottle, it okay. does the action of a magnifying glass. Oh. Okay. You know, and it starts. I think it depends on uh, erosion and changes and changes environment. Yes. Yes. But that's a very big cause also the uh, forest fires because people just throw the garbage, the, the glasses. The glasses is very bad. Okay. Yeah. Marcela, what is in the news? Hello, good evening. Good evening. What is hot in this uh, moment, Marcela? Uh, it's hot in this moment, the inflation. Yes. yes. In, in all countries, for example, the news said that in the United States, the inflation is over uh, the 9%. And here in El Salvador, is, El Salvador is one of the countries with less inflation in the area. But and people still complain. People still say, oh, my God, everything is so expensive. <laughs> thanks to the government. <laughs> yes, all is uh, expensive now. Everything and, is expensive. Yeah. Um, can, you, can, can you imagine? Sorry. OK. Can you imagine if we were paying seven dollars the gallon of gasoline in this moment? Uh, it, it's possible that in a few days or in some months, if the the gasoline uh, will be expensive. More expensive, yeah, yes, yes, it's possible. Possible. Yeah. All right. And, and it's a, a waterfall effect in everything. Yes, it's true. Sergio, what's in the, what's hot in the news? In show business, what is hot in this moment? Oh, I have heard something of uh, two two topics about two topics. The first one um, was about soccer, about soccer, the problem with the soccer federation in El Salvador. Uh, I don't, I'm, I have not uh, cleared exactly what is happening, but I, under, I understand that Indes is is uh, making some changes in. in in the rules, in the situation of corruption in, in the federation is, is very hard situation. So I think the, that this, that's the point. And another one uh, is about the, the, the sales of the workers in Salvador, the, A, the AFP uh, enterprises. Uh, just uh, just uh, today in the morning, I saw, I checked, I checked my my balance in my in the A uh, in Confia uh, A mm -hmm. if P, and I and I discover I discover that I have a negative uh, a negative earn. So really? that, that's a that's a really problem because because we are winning. We are losing almost the five, the the fifty percent of our saves in from from January to July, and oh. almost at least in my case, I 
I lost uh, 50, almost 50% 50 of my sales. Why is that? Do you know? Excuse me? Why? Why? Oh, are, there, there, are, uh, there are different uh, reasons, but I understand that we have two principles. Um, the first one is uh, due to, due to the, the, um, the loss of the, of the value of dollar. The first one, uh, the um, inflation, inflation mm -hmm. effect. And the second one, uh, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's about the, the obligation that the, the administrators of the funds uh, are obligated to invest, invest in bonus of the government. And the rentability is very, very low. Why well, is that good? Yeah, so so it's it's a it's a very hard situation, it's, uh, especially for all the workers in the Salvador. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, Thank you for that information. I didn't know that. Now after class, I'm going to check my IFP. Check your your balance. <laughs> yes, I will. Yeah. All right, Milton, what's hot? What's hot in this moment? Uh, tell me, teacher. Hi. Hi, tell me what is hot in the news? If I turn the news on in El Salvador, what is hot? What is hot for me, the news, the, uh, fed, uh, the problem, the Fed Food uh, organization uh, about the versus government in this because the FIFA uh, is aval Aval a fed food, but no, uh, no are in this. And then we have a problem with the, with the programmation, the next programmation, because uh, I don't know, it's a big problem. Uh, and I, more, more or less, I, I read the, the news, but I understand it's a big, big problem in this moment. Yes, um, uh, I imagine there's a lot of corruption in there. Yes, because the statement, the statement, the food, uh, there are different uh, with a statement with the index. And there's index, uh, we need regulation, the, the food. But you but know what, you know what, Milton? I watch, I watch El Grafico. And in, no, you, no, uh, today I... I didn't watch the graphic. Only no, no, but what I was going to tell you is that I watch El Grafico on YouTube. You know, oh, Eugenio Calderon mm -hmm. and everybody, they talk. And remember, El Grafico is from La Prensa Gráfica. So, El Prensa Gráfica is anti Bukele, right? Yes, Pero, yes, but, but El Grafico, ironically, ironically, El Grafico does not defend the fast food. They actually say the feather food is corrupt, yes. and and they and they speak with many players of the selection, and all the players say the same. Hugo Carrillo is a very corrupt person. Yes, Hugo Carrillo is a is a person with a a, a bad pasado teacher. What does what the, how do you say past. Pasado? bad past? Past, past, uh, yes, is 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 a dark, a dark past, yes. and then uh, and then for me the this uh, Carrillo uh, he need to keep in the feather food because uh, uh, he he has a, a dark past. Yeah, that's why. Wow, cool. All right, thank you, Katia. What is something hot? Okay, so no more politics, no more sports. What is something hot in this moment in show business? Uh, teacher, I, I don't see news because I don't want to worry. <laughs> no, but, but show business, and show business. Business. 
in the gossip shows. Yes, in the gossip, you know. Did you see that J-Lo got married? I really don't care, but that's everywhere, you know, in the news in this moment. I don't want to. Okay, so news. okay, so Katya, you don't watch the news. You don't no. listen to the news. You don't watch the news. Um, only people told me sometimes, but I don't. I I want to have peace of mind. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, JJ, okay. what is yes? I have been listening uh, the market uh, real estate. The real estate market. Is yes. Mercado inmobiliario. Mm -hmm. uh, has 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 very problem because uh, I I don't uh, I don't money for business because is uh, acquisitive power is uh, how do you say is is, is reduction because uh, there are there are there there have inflation um problem it's, it's a problem with real estate like market i listen but in el salvador or in internationally no, no in the uh, united states united okay. states i listen news today in the night oh okay okay all right good JJ, something interesting today? Um, about news? Yes. Uh, I noticed exactly today because there are many things that is happening. Uh, it's not necessary today, some week ago. Uh, the problem of the Federation of Soccer is, is one, but the war from Ukraine and Russia is, a, is an other. And uh, if we can refer to soccer international, for example, uh, in England, in Spain, in France, will begin, uh, begin the, the, the league. And the consultation about the soccer is in this moment uh, interesting, but uh, it depends. It depends yeah, what, maybe, kind maybe. Of, what kind of new do you like? <laughs> Yes, maybe it's not important, but it's interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what? I think I think one of the biggest news this year, maybe, is this law that happened in the United States with the abortion. That's 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 something very serious. Did you hear what happened? The the, the recent law. Okay, so we're not going to talk today, class. Mayra. Okay, let's go to the next part then. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mayra. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Okay, let's practice some listening exercise. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? So I guess we're going to listen to four stories. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Write the correct number. One. It's seven o'clock and time for the news. First, this just in from the World Health Organization, or the WHO. The WHO has reported that we are facing a potential global epidemic due to untreatable cases of tuberculosis, also known as TB. TB is dangerous because it affects the lungs. The number of cases is growing worldwide, and this has researchers worried. According to a recent study, as many as a third of all known TB cases are untreatable because of new drug-resistant strains. The drugs normally used to treat TB are simply not working. For now, the WHO is planning an international program to educate people about the dangers of TB. Two. And now we have a report on a scandal involving famous 19th century painter 
Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings. Sunflowers, done in 1888, was recently bought by a large multinational company for several million dollars. Well, the scandal erupted in London yesterday over the authenticity of this painting. An no, art expert from the Dutch Art Institute is claiming that the painting is a forgery. Authorities are looking into the matter. Three. Next, to Mexico, where Hurricane Pauline pounded Cancun and nearby areas last night, leaving many people homeless. The strong winds and heavy rains made for horrible conditions. Floods and landslides destroyed homes and cars, especially in the beachfront areas. Rescue is particularly difficult because streets are blocked, in most cases, by mud. It's believed that some people are trapped inside their homes and cannot get out. Most people have left their homes and are now safely in temporary shelters. Mexican authorities predict that the disaster is going to have a huge impact on the tourist business in Cancun this year. Four. And finally, a story for all you parents out there. How often do your kids push you to your limit? And what do you do about it? One tired and harassed mother from Illinois decided she'd had enough yesterday. Instead of yelling at her children, as she normally would, she decided to leave. She walked out the door and climbed a tree. The tree with her children's treehouse in it, that is. She told her children she had decided to stay in their treehouse until they started appreciating her more. She put a sign in front of the treehouse that said, On strike, no cooking, cleaning, doctoring, banking, or driving until demands met. The children tried to persuade her to come down, but no luck. Finally, one of them had the smart idea of baking their mother's favorite treat, brownies. Well, they must have smelled good because that did the trick. Mom agreed to come down and meet her children at the bargaining table. No word yet on the outcome of those negotiations, though. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more news. All right, so number one, what do you think it's about? Epidemic, epidemic, epidemic. Number two, a scandal. A scandal. Number three, natural disaster. Number four, a unusual family. Family. Um. Okay. Let's listen to part two. Listen to the audio again and read each statement and choose true or false. Listen carefully. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Write the correct number. One. It's seven o'clock and time for the news. First, this just in from the World Health Organization or the WHO. The WHO has reported that we are facing a potential global epidemic due to untreatable cases of tuberculosis, also known as TB. TB is dangerous because it affects the lungs. The number of cases is growing worldwide, and this has researchers worried. According to a recent study, as many as a third of all known TB cases are untreatable because of new drug-resistant strains. The drugs normally used to treat TB are simply not working. For now, the WHO is planning an international program to educate people about the dangers of TB. Two. And now we have a report on a scandal involving famous 19th century painter Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings. Sunflowers, done in 1888, was recently bought by a large multinational company for several million dollars. Well, the scandal erupted in London yesterday over the authenticity of this painting. An art expert from the Dutch Art Institute is claiming that the painting is a forgery. Authorities are looking into the matter. Three. Next, to Mexico, where Hurricane Pauline pounded Cancun and nearby areas last night, leaving many people homeless. The strong winds and heavy rains made for horrible conditions. Floods and landslides destroyed homes and cars, especially in the beachfront areas. Rescue is particularly difficult because streets are blocked, in most cases, by mud. 
it's believed that some people are trapped inside their homes and cannot get out. Most people have left their homes and are now safely in temporary shelters. Mexican authorities predict that the disaster is going to have a huge impact on the tourist business in Cancun this year. Four. And finally, a story for all you parents out there. How often do your kids push you to your limit? And what do you do about it? One tired and harassed mother from Illinois decided she'd had enough yesterday. Instead of yelling at her children, as she normally would, she decided to leave. She walked out the door and climbed a tree. The tree with her children's treehouse in it, that is. She told her children she had decided to stay in their treehouse until they started appreciating her more. She put a sign in front of the treehouse that said, On strike, no cooking, cleaning, doctoring, banking, or driving until demands met. The children tried to persuade her to come down, but no luck. Finally, one of them had the smart idea of baking their mother's favorite treat, brownies. Well, they must have smelled good because that did the trick. Mom agreed to come down and meet her children at the bargaining table. No word yet on the outcome of those negotiations, though. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more news. Okay, so TB is dangerous because it affects the heart? True. False. 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 One third of a TB False. case are un untreatable. True. 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 The painting was bought by a wealthy person. False. 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 The painting may be a forgery. True. True. True, yes. Hurricane Pauline has trapped some people in their homes. True. True. The tourist business in Cancun will be unaffected. False. False. The mother left the house to give her children freedom. False. 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 The mother agreed to come down the tree. False. False. Actually, it's kind of true. False. True. No, it's false. Okay, but at the end, she did agree. She came down to go sit at the there table. There is a mistake in the platform. Yeah. Oh, the platform said it's false? Yeah. Okay. Because remember, it says that at the end, the children made cupcakes or brownies. And maybe they were good. So she came down to sit at the table and discuss the negotiation. <laughs> so basically that is true but if the platform says false let's see yeah hmm, interesting but we know it's false I'm sorry we know it's true remember mini vanilli girl you know it's true <laughs> Okay, class, now we're going to study about simple past and past perfect. We understand simple past, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. What, is a, what is the definition of, of simple past? Action. Uh, final action. We start in the past and finish in the past. Excellent. Excellent. How many actions started in the past and finished? Many. One. Simple past is one action that started in the past and finished in the past. Today, I ate pizza for lunch. Okay. Today, I ate pizza for lunch. Yesterday, I drank, I drank chilate. Yes. Okay, now it was, good? It was very good. Where? Okay, Santa Anita. Okay. It's very famous. There's a very famous place in Santa Anita. Chilate. And now we have past perfect. First, what is present perfect? 
Action Star in the past. Action Star in the past. The past, but action continuous in the present. Okay, good. So what do you think is past perfect? Past perfect. Um, mix, mix right now, simple past and past perfect. Mix it. Mix the two the definitions that you told me. Action past, action star, action finish in the past, but action continues in the present. That's present perfect. Yeah. Action is start in the past and continues during during the past. It's progressed in the past. Okay, good, but you you have the idea. Past perfect is an action that started in the past, continued in the past, and finished in the past. The only difference between present perfect and past perfect, that present perfect, the action is still active. The action started in the past and continued. But when you say past perfect, the action is over. So the that's we will see this right now. So the action started in the past and continued in the past. But now it's over. So let's see what past perfect is. Hello, this time we'll look at words like later, the next day, up until then, among others. These words are used either with simple past or past perfect. Adverbs with a simple past and past perfect. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe something that happens at a later time. Afterwards, later, the next day, we laughed about it. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe two things that happened at the same time. When, as soon as, the moment I got to work, my boss asked to speak to me. Use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Up until then, before that, until that time, I had never lost anything important. This is a pretty straightforward topic, but we're studying our adverbs of time, which help to clarify when an event or situation in the past took place in relation to another event or situation. If I say to you, I was embarrassed because I called the teacher mom, afterward we all laughed about it. Which action happened first? That's right, I called the teacher mom. What if I say the moment I got in the shower the telephone rang? Again, which action happened first? Perfect. They happened at the same time. And finally, if I say, Anne went to Japan last year. Before that, she had only traveled to Florida. Which place did Anne go to first? Florida, right? So if you notice, the adverbs help us to understand the order of events. Your mom. Afterward, we all laughed. Straightforward topic. What were to speak to me? Use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Up until then, before that, until that time, I had never lost anything important. Hold on, this excuse is me. Where, where is the past true. perfect example? Okay. Do you see these words here? Up until, before that, until, have never. Okay. Um, Sara. Yes. Do you remember your first kiss? Yes. How old were you? <sighs> Imagine. 
Okay, it was when I have... When I was? I... 18 years old. When I was 18? Yes. Repeat, please. When I was 18 years. Your first kiss? Yes. Really? 18? Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Um, I remember I studied my first year in the university and I met um, a boy with, um, he studied medicine and when I finished my first class and he invited he invited me to sit down on the rotunda and I and I received my first gift. Kiss <laughs> or gift? Now my first gift. Kiss. I'm sorry, yeah, I, I can't tell. Yes, because it say kiss. Pronounce the yes, please. Kiss. Kiss. No, kiss. Kiss. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It sounds like you're saying gift. Gift. Kiss. Exactly. Kiss. 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 Okay, so that was your first kiss. So simple past. My first kiss was when I was 18. This is present perfect. I'm sorry. This is past perfect. Until I was 18, I had never kissed a boy before. Do you understand that expression? Yes, it's a past perfect. That is past perfect. So, Sarah is until she was 18, she had never kissed a boy before. So, what does what is that sentence saying? That Sarah, all her life, she never kissed a boy until she was 18. Yeah. 18, really? Wow. Yeah, really? It's impossible. Like, you believe by Jen, yes. My first kiss, I was, I was 11. <laughs> but nowadays, my too. first daughter, you too? Yes. my first daughter received her, um, her, first, her first kiss when, when uh, he was six years. When she was six. No, but that doesn't count. Eso no cuenta when you're six because you don't know what you're doing. No, but it's, yeah, it's impossible. Like, yeah, I remember, I, I remember my first kiss were my sister's friends. <laughs> they were like, really? fifth, yes, they were like 15 or 14. I was 11 and I kissed two or three girls. I was a bad boy. I was a bad little boy. But now I'm a good boy. No. But listen. So, yeah. <laughs> so do you understand that expression, the past perfect? Until that time. Let me give you an example. Before I used to drink. I used to drink stupidly you know that i used to drink and drive i used to drink beer liquor whatever and i used to drive oh like hey you know like people now they go to a bar they they get drunk and then they just go to their car and they go back home like nothing and one time i was drinking and um I was drinking in my house and I was very drunk and I went to go buy more beer. And when the garage opened, I went out, boom, and I hit a tree in front of my house. But, and I was like, ah, uh, and I don't know why, why in maybe in one minute or two minutes, the police came. And the police came out, come out, come out, we know, with guns. And 
and I was, wow, that one can't happen. <laughs> Man, that, what happened, you know? And the police, they wanted to arrest me because I was very drunk. But the only good thing is that I was in front of my house. And the police, they told me, look, we received a call that they stole the car in this area, robaron un carro. And it was red. My car was red. So the police, they were driving near my house and they saw me. So they said, oh my God, it's it. <laughs> but, but, you know, it wasn't me. But the next day I wake up and I was thinking what happened yesterday, it was a dream or really it happened. <laughs> so I went and checked my car. My car was... Russian. Yeah, it was it was in very bad condition. But um after I promised myself that day I would never ever in my life do that again, drink and drive. And it's been 15 15 years and I don't do that now. So and you were on, single or married? I was no I had a girlfriend she was with me in the car oh my goodness she is now my wife she was my wife but no but the problem is that the next day I felt very bad because I said not because of my car I have this like oh my god I could have killed somebody that day mm -hmm. I could have killed me my girlfriend, my wife, or somebody. That day, I really needed to be arrested because I was very stupid. But after that, I promised myself and todo y todo, I will never drink and drive again. And hasta el momento, ya no lo hago. Nunca lo he hecho. So until that time, until that time, I went out to bars and drank with my friends and then and go back home driving. Now I don't. But the problem is that now I don't have friends. <laughs> 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 no, but I don't need friends. I have my family. But you see that? You see how two, two stories happened? So listen to this. I used to, yo solía, I used to drink a lot with my friends. I used to drink and drive until I had a little accident. So what does that say? So I, I, I'm telling you, I used to drink and drive. So that was my habitual action in the past. Until, when I say until, is that's when it stopped. Yeah. Until I had that little accident, never again. All right, let me see. I don't know if it's for you fathers, I don't know for mothers, but for you it was difficult to accept you're a father. Was it difficult for you to accept that your baby, it's your baby and you are a father? And I was like, wow, no? Remember the first days? Yeah, Miguel, do you remember? Yes. I remember I looked at my baby and I said, no, wow, that's my baby. No, I am a father. I, I, I couldn't understand. No es, que, no es que diga que no era mío, o sea, no, 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 me, no entendía. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, no me había caído el 20, like, I'm a father now. Until, until I hear my baby crying. Well, well, until he hears my voice, he calms down, se calmaba. 
It's like, oh my God, my baby, he recognizes me. And when I hold my baby, he stopped crying. Until that moment is when I realize, oh my God, yes, I am a father. <laughs> it's magical. It's a magical experience. Who can tell me an experience like that? Tell me something you did in the past and you stopped. Oh, Sergio, you used to smoke, right? No, teacher, really no. I just, I remember that I only learned for curiosity. Oh, but, but, but you were not a frequent smoker. No, no, no. Well, can you tell me something you did a lot until something happened? What I did a lot until I was I was father. No, no, not necessarily a father. It's like something you did until another action stopped, or or for something example, you didn't do until another action happened. Yeah, for example, um, until uh, actually until I. I had responsibilities in my house, responsibility, familiar responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I used to hand out with friends. Uh, similar in uh, your case, I custom visit different bars and go out with, with friends. And, and, and I, I took to a pair of drinks at night. But then uh, later, when I was when I when I were when I was a a, a, a family father, <laughs> yes, I I I stopped that uh, practices. Okay, so let's make that let's make that that story long story short. So I was a party boy until I became a father. Yeah, until that time. Until that happened, I stopped to do that. Okay. Yes, good for you. Mm -hmm. I have friends that they still haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are married and they continue like they are 20 years old. And I don't, I don't, I, I talk to them, how, why, why do you do that? <laughs> okay, good for you. Good for you. Thanks. Who else can give me a story? And remember, okay, Sergio and I, we gave a story that we were party boys until we um, we became fa uh, family, um, responsible for families. Now, in this case, we did something and we stopped. In Sara's case, she didn't do anything until that time. So remember, it, can, it doesn't necessarily have to be something you did. It could also be something you didn't do until that time. Who can give me another example? Irena, I haven't heard you today. Yes, teacher. Uh, I was thinking about a um, story, but I, I couldn't find any, maybe. Well, when I was young, about um, 23 years ago, I used to go uh, climbing, is correct? Climbing, Cl climbing. Mountains, climbing mountains mm -hmm. every Sunday until uh, my grandmother passed away. I didn't do anymore. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, but why wow, I used to climb mountains? Very good, but that was a very good example. So it was a frequent activity you did in the in the past, and until that time, it stopped. Yes. All right. Who else can think of one? Marielos, can you think of one? Excuse me, teacher. Can you think of a story? A story. Oh, okay. Oh. Something you did or something you didn't do until. Okay. Um. I I used to uh, 
to go to the explorer to the mountain in uh, the volcano and until I I had a, an accident and I, I don't know uh, if I if it's correct that the, the, the phrase but I had an accident in the the volcano, volcano. I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know. I had. Uh, no he ido. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nunca volví a hacerlo. No. Como, yes, como I, I never. I never. I. No, es que lo está diciendo. I used to do that frequently until I had the accident in the yeah. volcano. So that is saying that you don't do it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand. Very good. Okay. So we will practice a little bit more about this tomorrow. Okay. All right. Maybe every yeah. tomorrow everyone yeah. will give me will give me a, an example. Everybody from your experience. When I talk about personal life, is le voy a decir porque cuando estudiamos eh, esto esto nos dicen nosotros los profesores cuando yo estaba estudiando para ser profesor tuve un profesor que me dijo. Lo más difícil a veces es lograr que una clase hable. Y es cierto. Entonces a veces la gente solo le gusta hablar de dos cosas. En general. De las cosas que le gustan y de las cosas que saben. Por ejemplo, creo que yo a Irena no le voy a hablar de los atléticos de Oakland que es mi equipo favorito de béisbol. Porque la clase puede ser así, pero yo me suelo decir, yes, no. Do you like baseball? No. Okay, do you, but have you seen baseball? Yes. Do you understand baseball? No. Y, y, la, y la historia sí va a quedar solo con yes. Pero si le hablo con Irena un poco más como de alta vista, o donde ella trabaja en escalón, o cosas que a ella le gustan, entonces sí, ya, ya hay más más, por ejemplo, yo vi a Miguel yéndose quizás pensando igual cuando yo estaba hablando hoy de ser papá, que, que a mí no me caía, yo miraba a mi bebé y aún no entendía cómo, cómo yo, o sea, cómo yo pude oh, haber hecho eso. Ya, yes, es like, oh my God, soy papá. Really. <laughs> Hasta que sentí que mi hijo, cuando oía mi voz y cuando yo lo chineaba, se calmaba, como, oh man, y le preguntaba a la gente por qué, y me decían, porque oía tu voz todas las noches. Y es verdad, yo le hablaba todas las noches. <ríe> o sea, cosas así, entonces, por eso es, por ejemplo, lo que dijo Marielo, o sea, es Irena, de que solían hacer actividades hasta que pasó algo. ¿Ya? A mí... Me gustaba Silvio Rodríguez hasta que, ¿no quién es? García Márquez. Me gustaba hasta que me di cuenta que era como el segundo más millonario de Cuba. Me, me quedé un poco defraudado porque hay gente hablando del comunismo, de los pobres, pero viviendo como reyes. Sí. Yes, things like that. So I used to, I used to like... Garcia Marquez, until I discovered that he has a big mansion in Cuba. <laughs> yes. Okay, class, I will see you tomorrow. Have okay, a great day. Sure. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.